G'day, it's Adam, BK4GHZ. Happy New Year. <laughs> Let's uh, hope 2022 isn't, uh, doesn't suck like 21 or 20. Now, the point of today's video, the Trimble Thunderbolt LCD project, which I released back in 2011. It was actually quite popular. I, um, I did a, a build run in 2011, a year later in 2012, and uh, the final one in 2013, which worked fine up until about 20, 2017, when um, you kind of dive into the, um, the, the Trimble documentation and you notice Thunderbolt will provide an accurate translation of GPS week number and time of week to time and date until July 30, 2017. So what happened after July 30, 2017? Well, it, uh, it, it messed up the date. So not long after, back in August of 2017, I uh, released a firmware update which, um, which kind of got around that. So instead of using the Trimble's own um, internal calculations for, for working out the date based on GPS week number and time of week, uh, I was doing that within the pickaxe. That worked um, quite fine up until 2019, then some bug became apparent. Um, provided a fix in uh, January 2020. Um, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, now the pickaxe doesn't have a huge amount of program space to play with. It was, um, it's only 16K, but uh, not only that, it was actually um, divided up into four slots. Each slot was 4K. Um, you could jump from one slot to another, but you, 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 your program couldn't work easily between the slots. Um, a bit of a pain, but um, you know, we work with what we've got to work with. Now, because of that tight program space, um, when I implemented, implemented the um, doing, uh, calculating the, the date internally, um, there's only so much um, I, could, I could write for. And up until two years ago, which was the last release, uh, I had provided date support for up until 20, 2032, I think it was. So now that 2020 and 2021 are behind us, I've removed that from the coding so I could squeeze in date support up to the end of 2035. If you want to update your Trimble Thunderbolt display, stick around, that's coming up. Now it's pretty easy to update the firmware. If you've got a revision one and revision two board, that's from 2011, 2012, uh, there were pads on the PCB to allow you to add a, a three pin header for a programming lead. Now the programming lead I use here is a genuine uh, pickaxe um, AXE027. Standard USB connector at one end, it's got a three and a half mil stereo at the other. I've just made up a simple little adapter lead which takes a three and a half mil to the three pin, matching three pin connector on the um, on the display board. So if you've got a version one and version two um, Thunderbolt display board, just add a three pin connector and you can program it um, in, in circuit like that. Just make sure your, uh, your Thunderbolt display is actually powered up at the time. The pickaxe does need to have five volts when you're doing that. Now, if you're running a, uh, a Revision 3 PCB from 2013, you're not going to have those three pads on the board for the programming connector. Uh, simple reason, I thought, well, two years into the product, there's been no firmware updates, or there's unlikely to be any firmware updates. Ah. Um, just get rid of the bloody thing. So in that case, what you need to do is uh, take the, uh, the pickaxe um, out of the socket very carefully so you don't bend and break the pins. You do not want to do that. And um, you could plug that into something like a, a breadboard. You'll need three resistors and uh, you can uh, program it that way if you, if you, and hook up a five volt power supply to it. If you don't have access to a, a variable supply, you can set it to five volts. Uh, just use a 7805 regulator with um, the, the usual capacitor on the input and the output for your 5 volt rail. To download this latest firmware, head to my website vk4ghz.com. 
And if you're watching this not long after it was released on the uh, 1st of January, look for the obvious topic there, Thunderbolt Display 2022 update. Now, if you're watching this video sometime after, uh, it may not be easy, as easy to find. Simply uh, type in Thunderbolt in the search bar, click on search, and this is a good way to bring up all the Thunderbolt related posts that have been made. Of course, we want the Thunderbolt Display 2022 update. Just going back home, another way to get there is if you scroll down and you look at the post categories, you'll see a category there for Thunderbolt GPS. Ultimately, we want to end up on this page here, Thunderbolt Display 2022 update. There's a bit of information and uh, background about this project. Then it tells you how you can program these depending on what version board you have. Once again, if you have a version 2 and version 3, all you need to do is solder a 3-pin header to the PCB to, um, to suit your programming lead. If you do have a version 3 board, you will need to remove the pickaxe very carefully from the, uh, from the socket. And I would insert that into something like a breadboard. Add these, uh, these two, two resistors here, the 10K and the 22K, and also the, uh, the 4K7, which pulls the reset up to a 5-volt rail. So if you do have a variable power supply, all you need to do is hook up 5 volts. If you don't have a variable supply, you could use a 7805 regulator with the usual uh, capacitors on the input and the output. Scroll down a little bit further and you'll see all the um, zip files that you'll, you'll need. Little note here, if you haven't previously made any updates above 2.0 or above, you will need to update all the slots. There are four slots in the Pickaxe 28X2. These are the latest versions here. Now, if you have previously updated to version 2.3, which was my last update two years ago, you only need to update slots zero and one. You don't need to be concerned about uh, with slot numbers or the programming order, as the slots are hard coded into the code. So just, just program the files, just upload the files using the pickaxe editor as they are. So the current versions are here, slot 0, 2.4, slot 1, 2.4, slot 2 is version 2.2, and slot 3 is version 2.3. Once you've downloaded the, uh, the, the, the zip of the bass file, unzip it, of course, uh, put that somewhere that you're going to find, plug in your um, USB programming lead, hook it up to the display board. If you don't have a, a three pin connector there, you'll need to fit one of those, obviously. Now this is coming up as COM12 for me. You will of course need the pickaxe editor. Current version is version 6.1.00. I'll provide a link to download that if you need it. Just happens to open the last The last file that I was using, which was this. Uh, top left, pickaxe type, select pickaxe 28x2, select your COM port. In my case, it's uh, COM12. So we've got our, um, our system powered up, the leads plugged in. We would click on program. Not found on COM12, what do you mean? Let's refresh, refresh our COM ports program. Now down here, you'll see a download program indication. Now whilst it is downloading, you will see the, um, the time, it just stops because the program has stopped running. Downloading the program table. Once that's happened, the board will reboot itself. Thunderbolt firmware, da 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 da. All right, now we're back in business. All right, that's it, that's all. Just a, a, a quick firmware update, just to extend the, um, the date capabilities of this for another uh, three more years. Um, so let's hope 2022 gets better than last year. All right, guys, take it easy. See you in the next one. Cheers.